Hey you guys, it's your girl Bianca and welcome back to my channel. So uh, today I have a voiceover video, um, a voiceover. This is my first, first voiceover cooking video. Um, so um, I'm just going to tell you what I did. Um, today I cooked, um, my mom cooked some chicken tonight and uh, I just wanted to cook um, something to go with it. So we had some um, spinach in the, mar in, the, in the refrigerator and I decided just to call this Bianca's Spinach Filet. So if you want to see this, keep watching. So what I did was I filmed it um, sitting down because, you know, it gets hot in the kitchen. So, I'm going to play it, and I'm going to tell you what I did. So, let's get started. So, that is a baby spinach from um, Walmart. Uh, what I'm doing is I am opening the spinach. Um, and those are my tongs. And I'm putting it in that little stainless steel bowl right there. So I had to get up because I had to go get the seasonings and um and vegetable oil. I think I already had the seasonings next to me. So I went to go get the vegetable oil. Um I put that on top of the spinach because that kind of gives a uh, spinach a little bit more flavor to me for my taste. So I put a half a teaspoon of vegetable oil in, I put two half teaspoons in there, um, in the spinach. So you're going to take your tongs and just move it around a little bit. So all the spinach can absorb, absorb the vegetable oil. So next I got some cheese, um, sharp cheddar cheese. Um, I'm just showing you it right here. And I'm going to add a half a cup of sharp cheddar cheese to my spinach. I'm sorry the lighting was bad, you know. It's night at times, so. My nose is itching. <laughs> so now I'm going to pour the cheese inside the um, spinach. So half a cup of cheese. It makes the spinach comes like a little stickier and it makes it it makes the spinach have a little bit more flavor. So now I'm gonna have a half teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add some black pepper. I tried to put it in there, but I just said, whatever. I'm going to just go with the flow. So, I, that's probably around um, two teaspoons. Two or three teaspoons. Probably about four teaspoons. I'm sorry if, my, if I was itching. If I was scratching my nose throughout the video, my nose was really itching, y'all. Like really itching. So 
So this is Earl Campbell's hot sausage. So what I did was I used two of them. I used this little knife just to cut them out of them. Now one of them broke. You're going to see in the video, but you can still, you know, use them. It's really not that big of a deal. So next I'm going to cut up the Earl Campbell sausage. Um, you can cut them in how big, how small you want them. It really doesn't matter. I kind of just went with the flow. So some pieces are small, some pieces are medium, some pieces are large because I kind of like it that way because you don't have to just go at a exact way how you want to cut your sausage. But you can cut your sausage any way you want them. I use two sausages, two sausage links and this is the Earl Campbell's hot sausage. Um, my mom really likes this sausage, so I just decided to put it in there just so I could have that nice hot kick to it. So I'm cutting some more. So, Like I said, you can cut them any way you want them. Not a big deal. And just add them to the spinach. Still cutting sausage. So now I am cutting a, another sausage. Now you can add how many sausage um, you want. In this one, I just added two sausages because I was going to add some cayenne pepper. Um, so that's why I just added two because I didn't want it too hot. And plus I didn't want too much, you know, meat in there. Now I feel like this recipe goes with anything so you know you can cook anything and it, it goes really good um you have that nice you know kick flavor with the sausage um now you you ain't got to add hot this um if you want um because i know a lot of people don't like spicy things so what you can do if you don't like earl campbell sausage you can just go to you know regular sausage Now, like I said, I did add some seasoning in here. So, like I said, I had to get up so I could go get some cayenne pepper because I want a little bit more extra hot kick to it. I was checking if I did. Just checking to see um, if I, but it was in the sink, so. So, that's cayenne pepper. Um... You can see that me, I use this every time I cook something. Um, I think cayenne pepper 
Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go four. I'm sorry. Hang on. My fault. So yeah. So this is cayenne, cayenne pepper. Y'all can see that I we I used it. I use this a lot. So that's a, probably around a tablespoon or two tablespoons of cayenne pepper. So sorry about that. Um. So um, next in this bag you see bell peppers and onions. I love onions. I use onions in every recipe almost too. I feel like onions for me has a nice kick of a little sourness. So I just like to add that into my recipes. It depends on like what stuff that I'm cooking, but usually I add onions anyway. Because I just like the taste of it. Now you can use regular onions. No, red onions. Um, green onions. You know, whatever onions. But right there... There, people call them red onions. So, I really like them. I know they put them in salads, you know, at the store. But I just don't buy it because I really don't like the way it tastes. And so, I rather cut my own vegetables and stuff in there. Now I'm cutting some bell pepper. Um, sorry, I'm eating some of the spinach stuff because I cooked some more. Um, I'm cutting up some bell peppers and I just cut them up and just put them in there. Like I said, you can cut up however you want. No, it's your, you know, spinach. And uh, I was, you know, chewing gum in this video. So my mouth was smacking. I was chewing gum. Now, like I said, I tried to keep this video under 30 minutes because it is a cooking video. And I want to go in detail on what I was doing because I know a lot of people like to do four minute cooking videos. That's not me. I like to go in detail on what I'm doing. Um, so I, so everybody can get this. So if you guys want to do this recipe, make sure you, um, you know, if you want to just make a repost video, a response video and show me how you cook it and, um, send me some pictures, um, be, you know, tag me in a photo on Instagram or, you know, and stuff like that and add me on Snapchat. So I can see a right out drop. So I'm still cutting that pepper. Make sure you cut it. You like it? You like it? Yeah. Sorry about that. That was me, you know, making my throat. I, I made a new batch. So this is was when I made the new batch. So I'm taking y'all to the stove. I'm going to have to figure out how I was going to prop my phone, to prop my phone up. So that's why I did all that. So I just got a, got the spinach box and just set it on top of there. So, yeah. So 
I put the stove on about a four. Um, just so it can get hot. So four um on my stove, but probably around you know low medium. So I'm probably gonna add one teaspoon of vegetable oil. One teaspoon. Do not put that much oil because you already put oil on top of the spinach. And just swirl, swirl your thing, swirl your pot around. So I went to go get the spinach. I want to put the seasons back. So, my camera cut off, so that's when I, you know, just filmed it again, and just turned on the camera, and I'm going to press that. Sorry, you guys, wrong video. So, I'm back. <laughs> uh, so, I think I... I'm putting the spinach in the skillet. Now, you don't have to put the spinach when the oil starts. You know, if you hear that sizzling, I like to put it in three minutes, wait two minutes, let it get hot a little bit, and then put it in there. You may hear a little sizzle, but you probably won't hear a sizzle. Um, but I didn't hear a sizzle, so I had to, you know, turn the stove up. That's the cheese and stuff falling out. Now, when you cook this, it has a nice, really, really nice um, smell, aroma. It just smells amazing. It, like, fills up your whole house. It smells just so good. I think your family will really like this recipe. So, while that was cooking, I went over there and I got some bacon. Um... That's why you see me getting that. I cut up some bacon. And it's, it is pork. We do have turkey bacon, but I wanted to use the pork. Um, because it did have a little bit more flavor to it. Um, so I did use the pork bacon. And I just cut it up in little small, small pieces. Not too small, but small pieces. Like, um, you know, pork bacon is like a long strip. So what I did was I folded the bacon over. And I just cut it up. So I just cut it in slices and then put it on my baking sheet. And I put it in the microwave for about two minutes. So I'm going to go flip that around. Uh, I um, flipped it around. Um, but if you guys like these videos, I do want to do more cooking videos and stuff. I'm trying to do like... You know, do a lot of stuff that I like to do. I like, I love to cook. So, I just want to show you how I make this recipe. Because the last cooking video, y'all remember, it was that burrito video. And I know people really liked it. So, I want to start doing more cooking videos. So, right now, I'm just looking, you know, just dazing. You know, just waiting for the bacon to get done. And I went back in, and I just kind of sprang it around. You can see that steam. I don't know if y'all saw that, but y'all saw that steam. Um, 
that plastic thing, that's the thing I got my phone propped up on. I'm not going to purchase me a tripod anyway. So I think I turned it on a little bit higher. Now spinach does cook fast, so to me it does, I'm just smelling it, it just smells so good, like even now, it still has that cooking smell to it, and it's like getting a little bit cold since I'm doing this video, yeah, so like I said, me and my mom ate chicken and we ate the first batch. So we wanted some more, so I decided let me just cook a second batch that can just make a video. Cause I haven't made a video about what two, three days. If I'm wrong, I'll check. <laughs> so I took the bacon out, um, up the microwave two minutes is up, and I just added it in there cause um, I like the bacon in there so if you don't like pork bacon I suggest you just use turkey um cause I know some people don't eat pork so if you don't like pork just oh I'm sorry you guys I think I hit the wrong thing sorry I keep forgetting that was you know the one so, hold on, just make sure. I think I was at the end, and, yeah. So, I added that bacon in there. Yep. So, I went to get bowls, and I just put it in there, and that's how I cook my spinach. Sorry about the rumbling and rumbling and all of that. So, yeah, if you guys want more cooking videos, please like this video, comment, and subscribe. And if you want um, if you want to send me a response video, um, just send me a response video, you know. Just, um, just you know, I love people's responses. Um, if you want to show a bit, um, do a tell, you know, post an image on Instagram. Add tag me at bbbb. So I love you guys, and um, I hope you guys like this video. All right. Hope everybody has a nice night, and goodbye.